Today I'm painting and I'm doing a whole bunch of mixed media, but I've been drawing on the wall since the toddler. I do a lot of mixed media, a lot of um, charcoal powders, a lot of um, oils, a lot of acrylics. I try to get clay somehow involved to add a three-dimensional aspect to canvas. Um, a lot of glue. And I don't know, it's just uh, whatever makes you want to walk up to it, touch it, lick it, do all that good stuff to it, but still look at it and see maybe what I was thinking. It comes from people, it comes from perspective and perception, and it comes from a lot of reading, a lot of trying to figure out what my brain can wrap around nature and space and science down to a molecular level that I can manifest into a big something to tangibly hold, but something also to look at and not stop looking at it. I give away art, I trade art, I try to get as much as I can out of what people benefit out of it because otherwise I do it for nothing. I really don't plan on doing a lot with it, but if people want to trade me enough green for it, I wouldn't mind, but eventually I want to build a house around a giant piece of canvas that I have to either build inside or build it house around it mm -hmm. that can be seen in every spectra of every ray of light and that can be pushed out to like touch and feel and eventually if I can sell that in the home it's built in or built around it or whatever mm -hmm. then maybe what I did was worth it all in the end. I think it's really badass though. I think it's really intense for people to come together and just network try to get their creativity out there. And you know, honestly, if there's no networking, I don't think it, I don't think there's really a possibility of being exposed in a broad sense that way. And it had to happen sooner or later, and I thought it was pretty badass, so it was like available to me. My name is Dan Cruz, and I'm a raw artist.